Today, the 7th of April, the World Health Organization celebrates its anniversary World Health Day. And this year we're talking about depression to draw attention to this very common mental condition. Usually people don't talk about depression, but no one should have to suffer in silence because we are all at risk. It affects people of all ages, from all walks of life, in all countries. Depression affects 322 million people globally and is the leading cause of disability worldwide. In the African region, close to 30 million people suffer from it. Recognizing depression early is key to preventing it from becoming a long-lasting illness. The World Health Organization defines depression as an illness characterized by persistent sadness and little interest and ability to go on with daily life for over two weeks. Some of the causes are losing loved ones, relationships which break up, poverty, unemployment, physical illness, alcohol abuse, drug use, and traumatic situations such as violence and war. At worst, depression can lead to suicide, which is the second leading cause of death in young people aged 15 to 29 years worldwide. Left untreated, depression can occur over and over again with devastating consequences for family and friends. Talking about depression can help to prevent it. Talking about depression with trusted people can be a first step towards recovery. Talking about depression the same way we talk about any other illness will help break the stigma and lead to healing. Today, WHO is urging countries to work with partners and with civil society to bring depression out of the shadows in our region. Today, we are urging community services to offer counseling and support for those with depression and talk out against stigma. Schools can get involved too. Depression is preventable and treatable if it's diagnosed early. Eating a healthy diet, engaging in physical activity, and avoiding stressful situations, alcohol abuse and drug use, are all strategies to keep depression at bay. Let's talk about it with our loved ones, our friends and family, with our teachers and colleagues. The more we talk about depression, the more we can help those who suffer from it. No one should have to suffer in silence.